River Greenway trails are already pretty impressive. Now they're even better. This morning, city officials helped cut the ribbon on a new River Greenway extension. News Channel 15's Elizabeth Fields is live at the IPFW campus. Elizabeth, this is a pretty big step for the trail systems in our area. Yeah, Pat, this is a really big deal. And while the ultimate goal is to have these trails go all the way up to Shelf Park, right now this college campus is connected to Johnny Appleseed Park all the way down North Anthony Boulevard to the shops down there. This section of trail was officially open this morning with a ribbon cutting, and a few excited trail riders were waiting to be some of the first to try it out. But it didn't take long before we saw a steady stream of traffic on the new trail. Now one of the biggest obstacles for the greenways has been overcome crossing Coliseum Boulevard. This trail runs safely under the busy road. Greenways manager Don Ritchie says even though this is a big step today, the trails are still a work in progress. Well, you know, we have plans to have more than oh, more than 100 miles of trails someday. We're actually, by the end of this year, we'll have about 60 miles of trails. And when we finish the Wabash and Erie Canal towpath trail later this year or early next year, we will have an interconnected network of over 50 miles of trails. Now, Pat and Tara, I know what you're thinking. I've got to get down here to try this out for yourself, right? Well, you're in luck because tonight's Bike the Trek Trails is featuring this trail. All you'll have to do is meet right about where I'm standing at the IPFW campus right by the bridge tonight at 6 o'clock. Well, hope to see you out here. Reporting live from IPFW, I'm Elizabeth Fields, News Channel 15.